Hi everyone, in this video I wanna show you my recent job where I installed laminate flooring on stairs. So this is a little, little bit uh, very specific idea. So on this stairs was carpet first. And we uh, get a decision uh, just remove carpet from the threads and uh, leave uh, the risers as it is brown because you know riser brown sideboards brown uh, that's why it's, we keep it so i undercut each riser from the bottom to slide threads under because uh, risers not really straight and uh, i want to slide threads uh, under the riser so that's why i cut uh, risers so you see the front when I cut noses, we have uh, open space uh, between top of the thread uh, till the riser. That's why we made front of the nosings wider than regular. It looks really good. Uh, and uh, if you have question why front so wide of the nosing, this is the goal what we want to get to fill up this open space. In one of my previous video, I showed you how to install with white riser. This is the opposite idea. So I guess it looks really good when it's light red with brown riser. So this laminate floor, what I'm using uh, for uh, uh, for threads, is already with uh, underlay. Its underlay is glued. So I'm not removing underlay. I'm just gluing this laminate floor with underlay directly to the uh, thread so this is my uh, idea and i already do it many times and no any problems so some, uh, some guys ask me should we remove this uh, uh, underlay or not so i'm keeping it's fine you know i'm using construction glue it's good really well so for measuring size of the thread i am using a still uh, i am using a stair gouge this is uh, professional tools if you're doing you know deal project you can buy now on uh, amazon very cheap gouge if you check description for my videos any videos i always uh, put there is a link to amazon for all my tools what I am using exactly for uh, each project so when you install in stairs you have to use right material I always trying to show you what we are using on, that, on our in our projects and uh, we get a good result so no complaints so I have uh, so many uh, questions when the guys <clears throat> send me some pictures uh, uh, with uh, problem with this floor problem and they ask me why it's happened so a few, few weeks ago I got a picture when they sh sent me uh, stairs which is you know was bended and unstick and glue after a week I did, didn't dry under the thread uh, so I never use glue or something which is I did, don't know and, I, uh, and I, I don't recommend you to use it. So usually I'm using for gluing the steps tight bond construction glue for subfloor. So guys, if you doing stairs, use this glue. It's 100% uh, if you glue it, it's never unstick. It's really, really strong glue. So, uh, if I'm gluing, for example, this laminate with underlay, it's glued completely. You know, very strong. So I'm gluing hardwood stairs. I'm gluing laminate stairs with this glue, and also I'm gluing vinyl, vinyl, uh, vinyl material on the stairs as well with this glue. You see the tube which is I am using for stealth also I am using uh, ton and groove glue you see the, in the white bottle I am using uh, uh, 
uh, pin uh, nailer from the Ryobi. It's 23 gauge gauges. Very good. So this is what I would recommend you to use. Now I am putting glue to the thread. You see, I put on the side uh, glue to the back side, and then I put diagonal line with glue on the thread. Why I put glue on the side and on the back? Because when it's dry, so you can't hear any squeaks. This is very important. You have to put on side glue to each uh, uh, sideboard because sideboard sometimes moving or drywall moving when you put glue exactly on the sides so stairs a thread will be glue very hard to the side and not moving now I put um, uh, you see the cardboard on front under and I wanna put nosing over this cardboard you know why because when guys did um, nosing for mitering nose they remove it uh, underlay so I have piece for thread with underlay and I have nosing without underlay that's why when I put glue I put between glue some piece of cardboard to match the height nosing and thread so after installing nosing and thread I always secure nosing and thread with nails so I'm putting 23 gauges nails it's inch in a 3 8 what I'm using for this material and um, uh, why I'm using 23 gauge because 23 gauge uh, nails uh, pins don't leave any uh, holes it's really really small holes and it's not visible you don't have to fill up it so also uh, for fill up uh, sides of the threads I am using uh, filler I found very good filler it's called um, color right is this very good filler in the store they uh, showed the colors which is already dry and you can uh, so you know there are some examples and you can match uh, color of the material with color of the filler now it looks like a little bit light but when it's dry it will be the same color like the floor which is what I am really uh, like it because sometimes very hard to find a nice filler why I'm using filler here because risers not uh, and uh, uh, sideboards not really straight so you see this is the final job what I did very nice looking stairs light threads brown riser brown side boards customer very like it you know because before it was light uh, carpet now it's light threads with laminate floor